facsimile. Could you? No. Were you to return to Earth, you could not convince men that you had existed without breath, without a heart dead within you. If you should try to impress on mankind the facts that you have learned in this journey, what would be the result? I would probably be considered mentally deranged. This I have before admitted. There is a whole world not revealed to you. The media originated from the Persians and peoples of the Mediterranean. The code can be seen during the reign of Cyrus the Great of the Golden Age, where the area of present-day Iran, then known as Medes, existed. Medes was one of the focal points of Zoroastrian thinking, as can be overstood from their pictographs. The Assyrians, Babylonians, Kassites, Arabs, Persians, and Parthenians transferred their power of voice to the area of Susa, where it is then symbolically and now literally transferred to the United States. Susa is a Masonic pictograph cipher for USA. In the history of the Assyrians, Chaldeans, Medes, Lydians, and Carthaginians by Edward Farr, published in 1850, it states, After the deluge, it appears from the sacred writings that the children of Noah congregated in their first emigration upon the banks of the Euphrates and the land of Shinar, and in that part of the land which has been defined under the term Babylonia. While there, they consulted together to build a very lofty tower. Go to, said they, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. This was in Genesis 11 verse 4. Remember now, the root word of Genesis is gene, which means to generate. Hence, the words genie and Isis, the female regenerative principle, the feminine builder. Of genie, it now should make sense why it granted three wishes, a trinity. Genie was a religious creator. The plan was put into execution. The tower was reaching towards heaven when the work was stopped by the Almighty. He confounded the language of the builders and by this new dispensation scattered them abroad upon the face of the earth. This was in verse 5 through 9. In the Masonic Bibs, which are their symbolic aprons and by bulls, bibles, the word God or Creator really refers to the group of the deepest control structures that have engineered and controlled humanity for ages. The word builders is a code for Cain and Abel, those whom are able to be honorable to the great work and build as Masons intend to do the bricks of society. Going back to Hinduism, one main distinct feature among other religions was that Hinduism held the first belief of the transmigration of the soul, which in their code means reincarnation, as in taking a reign over the nation. This belief was a code for the transmigration of DNA, which is part of their higher esoteric sciences. The catechus is an ancient symbol surpassing antiquities of thousands of years, used by Hermes, which is a code for her means mess. Look that up in French. Thoth also is connected to Hermes, as so is Mercury. To represent the generative principle, the phallic sign, and especially DNA. 
The wings of the catechist symbolize the flight of life towards heaven via Jacob's ladder and the discovery of the supposed double helix of DNA by Watson and Crick was actually originated from the Masonic High Sciences. It is already very obvious that the higher sciences were created by Freemasons, as can be noted by the influx of Rosicrucian scientists pervading the fields, especially by the establishment of the Royal Society, which is a Masonic foundation by nature. Members of the Rosicrucian order for the development of science include, and are not limited to, Johannes Kepler, a famed German astronomer and proponent of the scientific revolution, George Joachim Redicus, which I will add that Joachim is a call for twin towers of Joachim and Boaz. This man was a famed mathematician and cartographer. John D., the famed mathematician, astronomer, consultant of Queen Elizabeth I, studier of hermetic philosophy, and Prophesier of the future powers and trading blocks. Another member of this group was Tycho Brahe, advancer of astronomical knowledge, and Robert Boyle, famous chemist. Current scientists actually are supposedly indebted to. Another one is Rain Descartes, a popularized philosopher. Another, Francis Bacon who was the cryptographic writer of Shakespeare, and much more which are not named. Isn't it surprising that in the event of all this evidence, people still cannot understand their scientific worldview is entirely rigged? Prior to the advent of science and even the Royal Society, there existed the Invisible College, which was the main precursor for the Royal Society. Existing in the United Kingdom, this Rosicrucian society, the Invisible College, headed the enlightenment of its time. The advent of Buddhism by the supposed astrological figure Buddha, introducing the preaching of equality, brought forth the denial of the Vedic system. As Pike earlier quoted of the structure of religions and the Hegelian dialectic of then neo religious thought, established antidotes to the problems of the system. Brahmanism was purposefully tyrannical, thus, a new religion of Buddhism, where equality, in other words, socialism, being promoted, was an impeding yearning that stopped societal progress and uplift. Buddha is not a name, but a title. Buddha means sage. The real name of this sage was Sakyamuni. He is not a person, even though speculation of a birth was read at the 6th century BC, because he is simply a solar myth. Prior to the symbol of Buddha, Krishna was the solar symbol. The swastika represents a windmill and this is exactly what is happening to symbolic religions. Solar cults are spreading to modern forms, such as Christianity and now the New Age, which proposes light to be the new creator. The swastika is a code for the filfot. Filfot is a phonetic code for a difficult life, for backwards it is pronounced tough life. It is a symbol of the original cross, crux, after the creation of the crux on Sata, also known as Ankh. The Philfot, representing a windmill, has the option of pulling or pushing energy. In these cases, the energy, as in symbol of Krishna, is transferred over to Buddha, which is then transferred over to Christ similarly to how world powers transfer wealth from Africa to India, to England, to America, to China, and eventually to Afghanistan. These nations play the puppet game of power transfer, symbolic of the hot potato, which the scientific word is solenum tuberosum, sol, which is Latin for sun, gymnosophist, meaning the naked philosopher, 
were the Magi Masons, the acronym MM, that had spread in Africa, which is in Ethiopia particularly and near the Nile. They spread their esoteric doctrines toward Asiatic theosophy and believed in the immortality of the soul, just like the Hindus. The immortality of the soul is a prominent dogma in most Masonic creeds and rites, usually symbolized by the emblem of the Akasia and Evergreen. Amon, the name for Jupiter, was worshipped, again as you know, war ship, by both Ethiopians and Egyptians. Priestly classes of Ethiopia and Egypt would congregate yearly to celebrate the Table of the Sun, which is a Greek term, which consisted of sacrificial rituals. See the works of Paul Lavalle for general knowledge on the Gymnosophists. The Buddhists shared a solar chant similar to Freemasons, that being Aum and Solomon respectively. Aum is a trinity form of Om, O-M, A-U-M towards O-M, which both mean the sun. Solomon is a derivation of three times great, Hermes Trismegistus, meaning sun, 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 literally. Aum is the simplified triad of Solomon, representing Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Masons, after the symbol of the Ark, named this the Tri-angle, the third angle, as well as Jabulon, which is pronounced Yabulon, for in the esoteric sciences, J is a Y. Om, O-M, is a derivation of Om, O-H-M, which is derived from the Persian syllable Hom. All of this means sun, while Hom also shares a different definition, the property of the Yigar Drazel. Hom being the regenerative symbol, the tree of life, and Saul, it paralleled to the Lingam. The Lingam is a male principle. It represents the phallus, which can be seen all over the world by means of their obelisks. You can find many of these phalluses, as in obelisks, in Rome, Egypt, France, Turkey, Ethiopia, and the United States. Its dual symbol is the Yoni, used among the Orientalists.